And what is it that makes it worth fighting for? When you're getting trampled by life, when everything is working against you, when anything that could go wrong does go wrong, what makes it worth it to you to keep pushing forward? What keeps you going? And I don't know what you're going through right now, but I need you to remember, if you can find a why for living, you can endure almost any how. When you're getting attacked by life, you're going through the worst pain you've ever felt. And you can find those reasons that make you strong enough to keep going. You will find a way through it. You'll shift your inner dialogue from, why does this have to happen to me? I don't deserve this. I can't handle this to good. I'm glad this happened. This is a chance to get better. This is a chance to improve myself and my situation. I can do this. I can handle this. I got what it takes. We all want to be a beast, but do you know what a beast is? A beast is someone who can go through and be grateful that their legs are working. A beast is someone who's lost everything but is grateful for the opportunity to get everything back and get even more. A beast is someone who can hit rock bottom and can say, Roger that. I'm gonna harness this. It is only up from here. I'm gonna come back even stronger. What most people do is once you get stressed in the process, you don't want it anymore. You give up, you fold, you quit, you're through. But in order to develop, in order to become the best version of yourself, stress is necessary. See, a seed has got to have dirt on top of it in order to grow and develop. Dirt builds character. Dirt gives you the push through factor. Dirt makes you fight through it when you don't feel like fighting anymore. Everybody gets dirt put on them at one point or another. And that's the moment that teaches you to withstand it. It gives you something to push through. So when you feel like giving up, don't. When it looks like you're not gonna make it, keep going. When they tell you you can't, ignore them. When they tell you you're not gonna make it, do not believe them. You gotta become relentless. Never stop, never quit. The most important thing is your passion. You win with your heart, not your head. You win on emotion, not on logic. The most important thing to winning is the power of believing in you. The power of believing that you can win. The power of believing that good things will happen to you. The power of believing that you're special. You must believe that you can. And once you want something and believe that you can get it, you gotta block out all the noise around you that's gonna tell you you can't do it. Don't listen to all that Listen to yourself, that voice within you that tells you that it is possible, that there is a way for you to be successful in this business, in this career, in this life. In this situation that you're in, your life is at stake. You are fighting for your life every day. By the way that you live it, the mark that you're gonna leave, the legacy that you're gonna leave, all that is gonna come back to you. That is your life. So don't sit back and be on the defense and allow life to happen to you. Don't do that. Instead, go on the offense, go on the attack, become the aggressor, be the one that life is afraid to mess with. And remember that everybody won't make it to your next level because everybody won't be willing to sacrifice what it takes to create greatness. This is your journey. Struggle is a part of it. Losses are a part of it. Setbacks are a part of it. Sometimes you have to go through your worst just to become your best. Sometimes you have to lose everything just to gain everything. Don't let it discourage you. Let it encourage you. Fail your way to success. Fail your way forward. Failure is only when you stop trying. Failure is just another step in the staircase to go higher. You will never grow without growing pains. The valley might be ugly, but I promise you, the peak is beautiful and it will all be worth it. So don't ever stop climbing because the only way it works is if you work. 
The only way you progress is if you proceed. So you rise above anything or anyone that's in your way that's trying to prevent you from being great. You know how you get confidence? By attacking your fear. Attacking those hard things you know you gotta face and overcoming them. There's a big misconception out there that people who are successful are not afraid, which is not true. People who are successful are oftentimes the most afraid. They're afraid of failure. So they do everything they can to escape it. So they're gonna run the hardest. They're gonna run the fastest. And they're gonna be the ones who are gonna take every single action that they have to take to make sure they get where they need to be. So I don't want you to wait any longer. Don't worry about the how or what ifs. Make a list. Put your back up against the wall and execute on that damn list. Do that every single day, and you will be where you want to be. I guarantee it. The journey is not easy. Everyone's hot off the start, but after a month or so into it, with the wear and tear and the grind starts to hit you, you start losing focus on the horizon, do you not? You get caught away in the daily hiccups, the ups and downs, and the wear and tear. And you focus on the speed bumps, the daily activities, losing sight of the true purpose. Most of you won't be successful because when you're studying and you get tired, you quit. Don't cry to give up, cry to keep going. Don't cry to quit. You already in pain, you already hurt. Get a reward from it. The difference between a winner and a loser, the failure's there every single time. It's just the winner gets back up and does it again, and does it again, until it goes his way. I don't care how hard you fall. I don't care if nobody don't believe in you. It only takes you believing in yourself to get this thing done. And listen to me, it ain't failure if you learn from it, baby. So if you fall, fall on your back so you can look up. Because if you can look up, then you can get up. I dare you to take a little pain. I dare you. At the end of pain is success. If you can stay in the race, if you can stay in the fight, then you can dictate your own future. I dare you to fail. I dare you to take that same class over and over again. I dare you to stop dropping classes like you soft. See, getting what you want is up to you. You can turn your life around if you change your attitude. You change your attitude, you change your altitude. Your mind and attitude is all you need to be successful. That's all you need. You don't need to be born with a silver spoon in your mouth. You don't need money. You don't even need folk that like you. As long as you believe in you, you got the right mindset, you got the right attitude, we can make it happen. I don't care what's going on around you because it's not what happens around you that determines your success. It's what happens inside you. And you can't control the elements, but you can control your attitude and you can control your mindset. And I'm telling you right now, don't give up. I'm telling you right now, don't give in, get through it. And so God has allowed you to go off the rough side of the mountain, not so he can hurt you or break you. He trying to redesign me. I'm telling you right now because I care about you. I'm telling you right now because I've been there. I've done that. You've been in it for three years and you about to quit. Oh, you've been doing it for five years and it don't look like you think. You put all your money in it. You put all your time in it. People are looking at you crazy. Five years you've invested. Oh, you put too much in it to quit now. Oh. It doesn't look like you think. You didn't get the grades you thought you were going to get. So maybe I'm not meant to be a lawyer. Hold. Lay hold of it. You lay hold of it. And when that thing tells you to quit, you look at it in his eye and say, I ain't going nowhere. I will break you before you break me. You will not defeat me. You will not destroy me. You've been through so much hell. You going to quit now? And when you get to success, it's not about skill. When you get to a certain level of success, it's about stamina. You won't break me. You can't take me. I'm far too long. I'm far too hard. I'm unbreakable now. You get one shot. Opportunity comes once in a lifetime. You better make the kind of decisions that's going to take you to the NBA. You better make the right decisions that's going to take you to the NFL. You better make the right decisions that are going to land you the next best rapper, the next business tycoon. It's one thing to talk about your destiny, but it's another thing to wake up when you know you're supposed to wake up, to write when you don't feel like writing that paper, to say no to that party, saying no to quitting when you still got a hundred more shots to make, saying no when your body said don't stop, but you put in 50 more push-ups. You can't just talk about it. You gotta be about it. Don't even use the word commit. Don't even think about the word discipline. Just 
do the thing every single day, whether you feel like it or not. Your only commitment is to the activity, not to the grand scheme, not to the big picture, not to the implications of what it is that you're doing. It's to do the thing. Habits are the building blocks of our lives. Not the goals or the grand schemes or the vision or the big idea. It's what you can do every single day that matters more than anything. Develop good habits that will carry you through to having a very successful life. There are two types of people in the world. There are those who fight the uncomfortable and those who can face the uncomfortable. What makes you comfortable can ruin you. And what makes you uncomfortable is the only way to grow. Nothing great comes from a position of comfort. Safety, comfort zones are dead zones. You have to continue to push yourself. Yes, we tired. Yes, we're hungry. Yes, the mind is saying give up. Yes, it's saying quit. But we cannot quit because we realize we have not reached the goal yet. This is not what I dreamed about. This is not what I said I was going to do. This is not what it looks like. I got to squeeze. And then once we get past that place, we become comfortable with being uncomfortable. We no longer thrive to be in the comfort zone. Nothing worthwhile is easy to get. And if you can get used to being uncomfortable, your limits are non-existent. You're either moving forward or standing still. The choice is yours. Hesitation allows the moment to pass, the opportunity to be lost, the enemy to get the upper hand. Hesitation defeats us, so we must defeat it. To win, all you have to do is overcome that moment, the waiting. And to do that, all you have to do is go, move, take the action, get out of bed, get your feet on the ground, step forward, do not wait, go forward and win. I will make every day, every minute, every second, I will make it all count. Get after it and you will become the person you want to be. And you become that person through one small decision at a time. I want to win so bad. My hunger and appetite for success is intimidating. It scares the sh** out of people. And people around me say, slow down, stop. You're doing too much. Your appetite is too big. I can't help myself. I want to win. You have to be relentless. You have to never let off the gas, never stop, never quit. Never allow anyone to talk you out of the dream, the vision, and ideas that God has sent you. Everybody laughed at me. Everybody was looking at me like, man, you just gonna leave your city to go seek a dream and a, seek something that you're passionate about? Absolutely. Absolutely. Do what you have to do. You gotta grind and hustle and get out of your familiar space and walk boldly into the unfamiliar so that blessings and opportunities can present itself. If it's a game of survival, we gonna get from where we are to where we try to be. The only thing that I see that is distinctly different about me is I'm not afraid to die on a treadmill. I will not be outworked, period. You might have more talent than me. You might be smarter than me. You might be all of those things. You got it on me in nine categories. But if we get on the treadmill together, there's two things. You're getting off first or I'm going to die. It's really that simple. I don't have that natural beauty or that natural talent or this gift for creativity or intellect or humor. I don't have any of those things. But what I got is I will outwork you. When it's 45 on the treadmill, I do 46. When it's supposed to be 20 phone calls, I make 21. When it's supposed to be an eight hour workday, I work nine. Whatever it is, I always do one more. And what that does is it makes me eventually think I'm doing things other people aren't willing to do, so I should get things other people aren't gonna get. You've gotta understand, it's not about what you were born with. It's not about what you were given, where you started, or even where you're going. It is entirely about what you plant at the center of your soul. How hard you're willing to go after something, how much focus you're willing to put in your life, and how often you come back to that level of intensity for who you want to be. You have to make a decision that nobody in your position will outwork you. Some people run faster, swim better, but mentality is mentality. You're not going to outwork me. 
So I'm going to catch up somewhere. If you are not that talented, you can beat them with time. You can get to the spot before they get to the spot. Get your butt up and get there. You got to kill. What's going to separate you from everybody else? I do things to separate myself from everybody else. The passion that I have, the grind that I have when I do what I do. I got a different motor. I got a different grind. I'm always going to give it my 110%. That's the only thing I can ever say a solid day's work. If you guys do not do that, I promise you, your life will haunt you for the rest of your days. From today on, you play whatever your best game is, you play that level every single time. It doesn't mean you're going to score every time, but you can always give 120% effort. You can't dictate what kind of game you're going to have. You can't dictate how your body is going to respond to moving around. But you can dictate your effort. Your dream comes when you push. And I'm not going to give you no cookies and ice cream. Push. It's alive. It's inside. How do you know you feel it? You dream about it. You eat and sleep it every day. So push. Just push past the fight. Push. Don't quit. Push. And you push your way to success. You have a chance to control your destiny. All of us are created equal. Some of us just work harder. Some of us just grind. Some of us don't make excuses. Some of us don't give up and give in. What we do with the pressure is we say, I got to take it, and I got to take it to another level. You get a breakthrough when you fight. That's the hardest part because the breakthrough, that last 10% is all mental toughness. It's time to unwrap the potential you be. It's within you. And the people that have risen to that level were no different than any one of us. It's just they believed it and they're willing to work their keen ass off to get it. It wasn't about the potential. It wasn't about the genetics. It was about the perseverance. And it was about being the hardest working worker in the room. It takes courage to act. Part of being hungry when you've been defeated, it takes courage to start over again because of past experiences past defeats, past pain. We look back, well, it didn't work out then. It probably won't work out now. Courage is going from failure to failure without losing enthusiasm. Michael Jordan said in one of his interviews, I missed 9,000 shots when I was playing basketball at the NBA games. Does it make him a failure? No. He's one of the greatest basketball players of all times, but he failed 9,000 times. We all fail. It's okay. What is not okay is that when you fail, you stay down. Whoever stays down is a loser. And winners will fail and get up. Fail and get up. Fail and get up. You always get up. That is a winner. And I'm telling you, you're not where you want to be financially and it's not going to take 20 shots. You're not where you want to be in your marriage and it's not going to take 20 shots. You are not where you want to be in your personal life. You are not the person you want to be and it's not going to take you 20 shots. For some of you, it's one more shot. For some of you, it's two more shots. And you have not given yourself enough credit to say, I just need to get up a half hour earlier and my whole life will change. I just need to get up one hour early. I just need to work one hour longer. And when it just doesn't make any logical sense to go on, that's when you use your emotion, your anger, your frustration, your fear to push further when your feelings are screaming that you have had enough. When you think you are going to break emotionally, override that emotion with concrete logic and willpower that says one thing. I don't stop. You've got to make those kind of declarations to yourself. I'm unstoppable. This will not get me down. I'm not going to be denied. I'm going to go up in here. I'm going to do this. You can't have any doubt. You got to believe this for yourself. You got to believe I can do this. I was created for this. I was called for this. I was curved for this. I was shaped for this. I was meant for this. You gotta be doubtless or you can't harvest. You got to be the kind of person that you are fearless. Fearless. Folk leave fearless people alone. You are unstoppable. And because you are unstoppable, because you've got power that you haven't even begun to use yet, you ought to yourself to release your brakes. Some people want to always step into something. 
that is always finished because they don't understand the power of the process. It's good to be afflicted. It's good to have to worry how I'm going to make it. It's good to have to scuffle your way up. The harder the battle, the sweeter the victory. It's good to you. Why? See, when you win, it's hard and there's a struggle. See, what you become in the process is more important than the dream. That's far more important. The kind of person you become, the character that you build, the courage that you develop, the faith that you're manifesting. You get up in the morning, you look yourself in the mirror, you're a different kind of person. You walk with a different kind of spirit. It is easy to be negative today. It is easy to have low morale today. Anybody can do that. But if you can begin to harness yourself and say that where I am, I'm going to do the best I can with what I got because that is an expression of who I am. And you'll be surprised at the things that you're able to do. When you learn how to block things out, when you learn how to keep that eye single, you'll be surprised at the ideas that will come to you. You can decide, I'm going to work on myself and develop myself. I'm going to empower me. I got what it takes. This is my day, and nothing out here is going to stop me. I don't care how good you are, how well intended you are, how experienced you are. Every now and then, something will hit you and knock you to your knees. You can't stand anymore, and you're on the verge of losing your mind. You're throwing a towel on yourself. You surrender to your emotions. A lot of people become discouraged. They become frustrated and they say, oh, what the heck? So you give up when you can't get up and you decide to yourself, maybe I just have to make the best of a bad situation. There's going to be certain seasons in life to where you're in a season of just enduring. No matter how much things go well, you're going to be in some seasons of your life to where you feel like ain't nothing working. You coming down the court, clear shot at the basket, ain't nothing falling. Man, you're not crazy. This is life. There's nothing wrong with you. These are the ups, the downs, successes, failures. This is the totality and the process of life. And you can't escape it. Because sometimes we don't understand, like, what is this thing? What is my purpose? Why am I here? Why do I have to go through this pain? Why can't it just be peaceful all the time? then there wouldn't be life. You live life long enough, you're going to have some extreme stress. But what you do with that stress is what your life is about. Anybody can do well when things are going their way. What do you do when everything is unjust? What do you do when it's unfair? What do you do when your own control of things is taken from you? You have to get to that place where you let go of what is or what was, and you got to create a new. But what you really got to do is decide, I am the creator of my life. I'm not the manager of my circumstances anymore. There is something I can still do. When I think there's nothing can be done, that's when I know something can be done. Because if you're creative enough, can you find the answer, yes or no? If you're determined enough, can you find the breakthrough, yes or no? If there's no way that you're committed, can you find the money, even if you don't have it, yes or no? Creativity, decisiveness, passion, these are the ultimate human resources. And if you don't have what you want, stop telling yourself the story because you don't have the money, you don't have the time, that's bullshit. It's because you haven't committed yourself where you would burn your boats. If you want to take the fucking island, burn your fucking boats and you will take the island because people, when they're going to either die or succeed, tend to succeed. I want you to say, I can beat it. I will beat it. I must. I got a family to live for. I ain't through yet. My life ain't over yet. And I'm not retreating. I'm not running. I don't care what they say on paper. I don't care if you say we outnumbered. We live by this and we die by this. We don't retreat. We don't run. We gonna stand and we gonna live and we gonna die by what we stand for. And everybody gonna know what we represent and what we're a part of. I got staying power. I got staying power. There's some things in life you don't need no degree for. You don't need no money for it. You don't need no support for it. There's something in life you just gonna get through when you tell yourself, I'm gonna get through this. I don't see failure. I see grit, determination, drive, sacrifice. Failure means you're trying. I don't look at it as failure. I look at it as my first, second, third attempt. One thing in life, that's for sure. The valiant motherfucker always wins. Forget about the mistakes and failures of yesterday. Focus on today. That happened yesterday. It was an error. Squash it. We're going to fix it and move forward. We're not going to waste today on the mistake we made yesterday. Today is a new day. And though yesterday wasn't the best day, yesterday is gone and ain't nothing we can do about it. You've got to put all your energy and focus on today because that's all that matters. Because as long as we're thinking of error, as long as we're on that negativity, it's going to produce negativity. Say yes 
Yes to my dreams. Yes to me. Yes, I can make it. Yes, I can. Doesn't matter how many failures I've made. Doesn't matter how many mistakes I've endured. Doesn't matter about my defeats. Doesn't matter about what I've done. Yes, yes. It is possible if I just stand long enough, I can pull this off. I'm still in the process of transforming my life. I'm still in the process of becoming. It's going to be a fight, but at some point, you got to go take the life out of it. At some point, you just got to take that thing out. You got to take the breath out. Go get it. Don't run from it no more. Go get it. You go in there and go get that grade. You go in there and get that information so you can pass that class. You got to go get it. I think about my why. I can't quit. I can't stop. I can't get tired. I can't give up. I can't give in. My mama counting on me. My wife is counting on me. When you ain't got nothing left in your tank, you got to think about the people in your life that you're doing this for. And then if you can think about them, you can go one more mile. You can go one more day at work. You keep going, you keep studying, you keep writing, you keep singing, you keep rapping, you keep boxing, you keep fighting, you keep dribbling, you just keep on keeping on. And if you persevere, every storm that's come, it will pass. I wish I could tell you that it's gonna get easier. I wish I could tell you it's gonna get easier. I wish I could tell you that if you just keep going, it's gonna get lighter. The weight is gonna get lighter. I wish I could tell you that, but that's not the truth. The truth is you gotta find something within. You gotta find something within, and that's gotta push you, and that's gotta elevate you, and that's gotta drive you, and that's gotta move you. And when you find out what your why is, you find a way to make it happen. When you want something in this life, don't expect everyone to support you. Don't expect it to make sense to everybody. No. Many people will push back against your ideas for your future, many of which will be your own friends and family. They'll laugh at you. They'll doubt you. They'll call you stupid. You can't listen to these people. You've got to listen to yourself. You've got to have a voice inside yourself that is so strong that it speaks louder than all the crap people talk to you. Because if you just sit there and accept everything that's thrown at you, life will trample you. It'll kick dirt in your face and tell you you're no good. Don't let this negative world beat you down. Don't let it win. At some point, you got to start standing up for yourself. At some point, you got to start fighting back. Get away from all these people who ain't doing nothing with their lives. These people are toxic. They'll attack you on your journey. They'll actively work against you. These people's opinions of you ain't none of your business. You are the only one who dictates how far you can go. The possibilities for you are unlimited. If it's building a business, starting a career, traveling the world, making a difference in society, you can do whatever you believe you can do. He who thinks he can, and he who thinks he can't are both usually right. You've got to build your level of self-confidence to a point where when they fight against your ideas, it only adds fuel to your desire to win. Many doors will be closed in your face. Many loans that you'll want will be denied. Many jobs you apply for, they'll reject you and most people will give up. But you've got to decide within yourself that I'm going to be fearless. I'm going to be relentless. I refuse to accept failure as my final result. And I'm gonna go all out to get it. I'm gonna give it everything I possibly have. No obstacle, no challenge, no person is gonna keep me from my dream. Don't allow the opinions of others to shut you down. When they talk sh you go hard. When they doubt you, you shut them up with your results. The best revenge in life is massive success. Don't allow anyone or anything to steal your dream. If you dare to be great, if you dare to do something that you've never done before, if you dare to go to limits that you've never been to before, you'll achieve more than you could ever imagine. And when you're going through bad times, I want you to remember, you're not being buried, you're being planted. You may be underground, but you're not buried in this mess. You're planted in it. And when you're planted in it, you should expect to come back up again. And when you come back up, you'll be completely transformed by the experiences that you've endured. When you're going through pain, you're not suffering. You're building strength, you're building resilience, you're building perseverance, you're building everything it takes to win. When you have fear, 
Fear makes you think in a way you shouldn't be thinking and makes you do stuff you shouldn't be doing. But when you have faith, you don't need to know what you're up against. When you have faith, you don't need to know how much it's going to take. When you have faith, you just believe and it'll happen. You concentrate on working on your dream. You don't worry about tomorrow. You concentrate on this opportunity right now with all your might, with all your soul, with all your heart. You focus on this and tomorrow will take care of itself. You gotta believe within yourself that you are the one. You are the one to make it happen. You are the one to succeed. You are the one who will be living their dream. You gotta feel that you're entitled to this, that you're supposed to have this. This is your calling. This is your time. Now is your moment. You gotta stand up inside yourself and tell yourself, I can do this. I can handle this. I can overcome anything that comes against me. You're more powerful than you realize. You're stronger than you think you are. You're tougher than you think you are. You can survive more than you think you can. You can go further than you believe you can. You're more capable than you could ever possibly imagine. When you no longer focus on the obstacles, when you no longer care what people think or what people have to say, when you no longer find the need to seek their approval, when you stop counting the cost of what it's gonna take to reach your dream, it is done. When the pressure within you is greater than the pressure outside of you. When you have a dream and you start working toward it and you share that dream that you have with other people, they're not gonna see it like you do. They'll laugh at you. They'll think you're crazy. And sometimes you're gonna think you're crazy too. You're gonna question yourself. It's hard. It's hard when everyone around you is doubting you and making fun of you and telling you to give it up, that you're wasting your time. It's very hard. But you know what? Every great successful person was ridiculed before they were revered. Life is not easy. It is not. Don't try to make it that way. Life's not fair. It never was. It isn't now and it won't ever be. Do not fall into the trap, the entitlement trap of feeling like you're a victim. You are not. Get over it and get on with it. Stop telling your visions to other people because they're not going to see it. Why you think you keep imagining opening a business? Why you keep imagining graduating, getting a better job? Why do you keep imagining buying a house? Why do you keep imagining driving a really nice car? Why do you keep imagining getting rich one day? Why do you keep imagining that? Because the universe is talking to you. It's showing you something that it has for you. Your perception has everything to do with how this year is going to work. It is not what you perceive about me. It's what I perceive about me. Have opinions and feelings about yourself independent of the feedback. The day that you allow the opinions of the outside world to dictate the way you feel about yourself, it is the beginning of the end of you living a blessed and self-loving, secure life. It is not the car that I drive or any of the jewelry that I own or the size of my house that defines my self-worth. I'm hot. I'm hot. I'm hot when you don't think I'm hot. I'm amazing when you don't think I'm amazing. I love me even if you stop loving me. You can say the nastiest, meanest, evilest shit that you could ever conjure up. It will never change the way I feel about myself. It's not what they say about you that matters. It is what you say about you that threatens your destiny. You will never be defeated by what they say about you. You will be defeated by what you say about you. I am great and I don't owe anybody an apology. I am phenomenal and I don't owe anybody an apology. I am going to do great things and I don't owe anybody an apology. Stand up for your dream. Stand up for what you want in your life. You've got to talk to yourself day in and day out. You've got to say, yes, I can make it. The last chapter to my life has not been written yet. If you judge me now, you'll judge me prematurely. I'm still in the process of transforming my life. I'm still in the process of becoming. Yes, yes. It's your dream. 
Nobody's gonna see it like you do it. It's your dream. Nobody's gonna feel it like you feel it. It's your dream. Nobody's gonna be as dedicated to it as you are. It's your dream and they don't have to understand and they don't have to like it and they don't have to do it. It doesn't make a difference. It's your dream. And you, my friend, have been given the task to make it happen and you can't let anything stop you from doing what you were called to do. I was created to do great things and I will no longer ask others for their permission. I don't expect you to believe in my dream like I believe in my dream. And the problem with some of y'all is you want somebody else to support your dream. It's yours. I don't owe you a dime. It's your dream. If you want it to happen, get your butt up and make it happen. If you want it to happen, rise and grind. Cause this is my time. This is my moment. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Ain't no such thing as tomorrow. We only got today. I need specifics. What are you doing on Monday? What are you doing on Tuesday? What are you doing on Wednesday? You need to be very specific. It's time to put your pieces together of your puzzle. I put mine together. I put this life together. I made this happen. Nobody helping get here. I had to get up. I had to go to class. I had to read. I had to study. I had to write. I understood that the dream is real, but the lifestyle is real. You got to earn this. Let the dream strip you. Let it remake and mold you. Life gonna whip your butt. Life is gonna bully you. Stop crying. Be demanding. Let it hit you, but don't let it pump you. We all go through it. Some of you know you let your pain pump you. You let your pain make you quit. You have come too far to quit now. You have invested too much to quit now. You have lost too much to quit now. Get a reward for your pain. Don't cry about it. Don't whine about it. Get a reward for it. And for some of you, you stop dreaming. You dream for a week and you stop because things around you don't look good. You dream for a month and when you get hit in the mouth, you quit and you give up. You dream for a while and when people tell you crazy, when people tell you stupid, or when people tell you can never get done, you stop dreaming and you go back to knowledge. And I dare you to use your imagination. I dare you when you're broke to use your imagination. I dare you when you're rich to use your imagination. I dare you under every single circumstance. Keep dreaming. Keep focusing on your dream. Keep going after the dream because that's where true success is. Because of our mental conditioning, we unconsciously build a case on why we can't do something. You can't do that. You don't have any college training. You can't do that. You don't have the money. You don't have the contacts. It's a natural inclination for us to put ourselves down. See, we are born negative, I think, in a negative consciousness because we live in a negative world. Don't let this negative world get to you. Don't let it win. Stop beating up on yourself. You do do it. I know you do it. I've done it. Life is serious and you have to be serious about taking care of your mental state. So I'm saying learn to be your own booster. Start building yourself up. Start encouraging yourself. If you don't program your mind, your mind will be programmed because human beings are goal oriented. Turn a deaf ear to people that all they can do is talk about how negative things are because they have bought into the consciousness of the world. Start listening to tapes on a daily basis to begin to recondition your mind, to retrain your thinking. Listen to things that can empower you, that can enable you to create a new reality for yourself and a new life for yourself. You might appear to be strange around most people, but you've got to learn how to tune out the critics outside and the critic inside. You ignore that inner voice and all of the external voices. Don't judge the possibilities for what you can do based upon the circumstances because the circumstances won't determine who you are. Start saying, I can do this. I can make this happen. Come on, man, get yourself together. You can do this. You can handle this. This is not a big deal. You're amazing. This too shall pass. You can handle this. You just haven't figured it out yet. You can do this. Other people have done it. Doesn't take an Einstein. Take some seminars, workshops, read some books on how to manage your business. You've got your gifts. You've got your talents. Stay focused on what you're doing. Focus your energy. That kind of talk, saying that to yourself, drives back the other voices of negativity that we all have. You've got to be willing to prepare yourself and do the best you can. Take your best shot. Start working and developing yourself now and prepare yourself for what it is that you want because you expect to get it. Do you have the courage to believe in your own ideas? Do you have the courage to 
think something beyond where you are. Because if you can think, you can change. You can move. You can evolve. You can grow. You can become. You are one thought away from a great reformation in your life. One thought away from being a millionaire. One thought from overcoming. You are one thought away from the greatest experience you have ever had in your life. Your credit is not a problem. Your house is not a problem. Your situation is not a problem. Your thoughts are the problem. As a man, think of it as hard, so is he. Everything starts in the thoughts you think. If you think little, you go little. If you think weak, you go weak. If you think up, you go up. One thought. Look out from where you are. What you see is what you'll be. If you see nothing, you'll be nothing. So now is the season for you to move distractions, confusion, turmoil out of the way to find a peaceful place where you can meditate and think, what am I going to do at this season of my life? What could I do with the circumstances of my life? What would you do with what you have to make it better? One thought delivers you from hopping around in the failures of your past to standing up like a man and say, I'm going to be defined by what's in front of me and not what's behind me. You will not beat me because I think myself to be strong enough to fight you back off of me. How much time you really waste? For real. How much time do you have left? When you start thinking about that, we don't know. Right now, we have the most valuable asset on earth on our side, time. But it's running out. And to make that first step towards greatness is the hardest step. And you're going to have to fight and fight and fight and fight. And most of you won't be successful, not because you can't do it, but you can't outlast your old you long enough to get to your new you. Because let's face it, when the alarm goes off, you got your head on that soft pillow. It's all nice and cozy and warm in there. You do not feel like getting up. You should not. That snooze alarm is the dream killer. When you press that snooze button, you're killing your dreams. Every single day when you wake up, you got two options. You can look at the clock and hit the snooze. You can look at that snooze button, boom. You can hit the snooze button and go back to bed and dream about what you want to have. Or you can look at that snooze button, kick that clock and get up and go pursue your dreams. It's so easy. So easy to put things off. So easy to say you're going to do it tomorrow. Well, I want you to reprogram your brain and tell yourself that tomorrow is not a viable option. Tomorrow doesn't work. You do it today. You get it done today. That's what you do. If you can get through to doing things that you hate to do, on the other side is greatness. No more excuses. No more hesitation. No more procrastination. No more negotiation. No more go on the attack. You don't stop until it's done. Don't expect front row seats if you're giving those bleed effort. Everybody want to win. Everybody want to be on the winning team. Everybody want to win, but everybody don't want to work. Everybody wants a reward, but everybody don't want to work. We all got to work. I got to show up and show up 120. Every time where much is given, much is required, but you're going to get the rewards. Rewards come after you work, not before. The only place where success comes before work is in the dictionary. We're not going to wait. We're going to do work. We're going to put in work. Because every time you put in work, you get the same consequences. You get paid. You get rewarded. Discipline is you do it so long and so hard and you're so passionate about it that even when you don't feel like it, you still operate at the highest level. Beast mode is I will not stop when others stop. I will not quit when it gets hard. I will not complain. I will not worry. I will not fret. I will find a way when there is no way. I will make a door when there is no door. I will create a window when there is no window. I will create finance when there is no finance. I will find an opportunity when it doesn't exist. But I will not be defeated because I know what my desires are and I know what I deserve. The reason why you stop and you start and you stop and you start is because the goal is not meaningful enough. You don't have enough skin in it. You don't have nothing to lose if you don't do it. What I'm telling you is you got to create the type of scenario that if it doesn't work, you lose everything. And because you cannot lose everything, you got to make it happen. If you 
just decide I'm going to keep my word. If I say something, I'm going to do it regardless. Being more considerate, more trusting, more disciplined. You owe it to yourself to give it your best effort. If you get in the habit of being mediocre or doing just enough to get by, you're not hurting anybody but you. You're cheating you. If you follow it through, if you keep your commitment to the commitment, you'll feel strong and powerful. That kind of commitment, that kind of spirit, that kind of personal power, that kind of vision is in you. Decide to be better. Decide to get better. Decide to get after it. When your life is getting hard and life is coming at you, you will panic and you will forget who the you are. Because in the worst of times, you are alone. You must get your self out of the sewer. No one's coming in the sewer to get you. It's dark, it's nasty, there's rats down there. It's your brain. You are the only person that can pull yourself out. Anything you focus your mind on, you can change. You don't like the way your life is going, you're the only one who can change it. You don't have to be an alcoholic. You don't have to be a failure. You don't have to be anything you don't want to be. If you ever decide to change your mind. And if you're having one of those dark days, it's okay. It's okay to feel that darkness. Embrace that darkness. I don't care who you are. I don't care what title you hold. I don't care what position you're in. I don't care what it looks like to people. This is not about people. This is about your life. Don't you quit. Don't give up. You have to get up. In the chaos is an opportunity. It is the chaos of the time that creates the conqueror in the man. Those exceptional people who are uncomfortable with the time that rise to the challenge because they refuse to allow the chaos around them to determine the conqueror within them. People who resist the toll to go down and stand fiercely in spite of opposition and say, I'm going to do it anyway. You're going to have people to do things to you. Things are going to happen to you. And the most important thing to do is to harness your will and let it go. And move so you can grow. So you can get on with your life. It doesn't matter about what happens to you. What matters is, what are you going to do about it? Start working and developing yourself now and prepare yourself for what it is that you want. Because you expect to get it. You don't like where you're at? Don't worry about it. It's just a step. You don't like how you feel right now? Stop crying. It's just a step. Why are you up all night over a step? Why would you be weeping and worried over one step in the whole topography of your life? You can't judge your life by where you are in this moment. Do you not know that where you are will pass? What you're worried about will pass? Don't you understand that one day you will look back and laugh at the thing that kept you up all night? Don't you understand that it's not nearly as major as you thought it was? You can live without your house. You can live without your car. You can live without your friend. You can live without your husband. You can live without your wife. There's more in you right now that's represented in your bank account. There's more in you right now that's being reflected by your life right now. Your life is not a true reflection of your potential. You've got to believe in yourself. You've got to stand up. You can't talk out now. You can't fold now. It's not there to stop you. It's only there to challenge you. You want to grow through it. Tough times never last, but tough people do. You going through hell? Don't stop. Keep moving. You keep on swinging and the universe will yield to you. Energy is measured by motion. That's why the devil wants you to sit, shut up, and feel sorry for yourself. But try to blow the devil's mind this morning. Just when you think he got you down, you ought to shock him and press. Is it easy? No. Is it worth it? Yes. Yes, your life is worth it. I came to tell somebody, you got just enough strength left. You got just enough time left. You got just enough energy left. to run from the chaos. Stand still and let the chaos run from you. I want to talk to somebody who ain't so happy, but you still believe. I want to talk to somebody who's wrestling in their flesh but you still believe. You got a reason inside of yourself. I'm better than this. I'm stronger than this. 
I will survive this. Who on this earth would still be going right now? You are. You are. Some things are going to happen that are not in your control. You're going to get knocked around. Don't let your environment make you weak. You got to get to the point of your life where you say, I have had it. I'm not going to live like this anymore. No, there's got to be more for me. I got tired of losing. I got tired of coming up short. I got tired of eating out of trash cans. I got tired of watching everybody else graduate. I got tired. At some point, you got to be tired of not being number one. You have to be, and you got to play angry. You think things are going to just go your way? Well, they're not going to just go your way. You think things are going to just happen for you? Well, they're not just going to happen for you. You got to make them happen. See, life don't give you what you want. Life don't give you what you'd love to have. Everybody would love to be successful, right? Everybody wants success. They want financial independence. Life gives you what you will excel. If you will excel failure, hardships, disappointment, that's exactly what life's going to give you, right? If you want to win, you got to show up and demand for yourself success and fulfillment and happiness. You got to believe I can do this. I was created for this. I was called for this. You have to arm in your mind. Start preparing yourself for what's out here in life. Build confidence. Build self-esteem. You got to start thinking I'm the creative, creative world. You can turn your life around if you change your attitude. You change your attitude, you change your altitude. Stop sitting in here with a life of mediocrity when that ain't what God created you for. You have to start living your life in expectation. You have got to start expecting great things to happen for you in order for it to happen. The moment you change the frequency that your tower emits, different things come back to you. Start working and developing yourself now and prepare yourself for what it is that you want because you expect to get it. Yes, it can happen. Yes, you can have it. Yes, you can be it. Yes, you can do it. But you have to be very proactive. You can't sit back and wait for it to happen. We're going to go get it. I cannot allow what happens on the outside to impact my attitude. No matter what else is going on, you got to make up in your mind. It's either a blessing or it's a lesson. If you fail, you get back up. You say, how can I do it differently this time? I can't stop. I won't stop. Get out of cruise control and get in control. Get in control of your day. Get in control of your hours. Get in control of your second by taking control of your life. What do you do when the thing that you didn't ask for happens in your life? In the shifting seasons. You can find yourself stressed out. You can find yourself depressed. Mentally fragile because of the experiences, the turbulence that you have gone through. I don't care how good you are, I don't care how talented you are. There are some times when things aren't going to go right and you have to deal with it. You can experience enough pain in life that he can clobber you to the ground and you believe you can't do it. You believe that this is it for you. No, it's not. Setbacks will happen and when they do, it's okay to cry, it's okay to go home, but eventually you have to get over it and move on. You don't have to force yourself or motivate yourself to think negatively, to be depressed, to hate somebody, to want revenge, to want to get back at somebody, to beat yourself up over the head, to feel loaded with guilt. You don't have to make any effort to do that. Your mind is on automatic. It will do that by itself. But if you want to begin to move into your own personal greatness, if you want to begin to really enjoy a happy, successful, healthy life, you've got to be willing to go against the tide. You've got to be willing to harness your will and say, in spite of this, I'm in control here. I'm not going to let this get me down. I'm not going to let this destroy me. You want it and you're going to go all out to have it. I challenge you to see your problems as a great thing. I challenge you to start being thankful that you have the opportunity to grow, get stronger, get more focused, get more skilled, and kick more ass because of every hardship you face. You need to make it a habit to start every fucking day validating yourself because life is a marathon. And this might be a challenging leg where you're like, I'm just going to throw in the towel. I'm not going to do that thing. Hell no. You've got to focus on you. And as you convince you 
as you sell yourself every day every day you will begin to see a difference in the things that you're doing telling yourself every day here i go again and i got what it takes this is my day and nothing out here is going to stop me my back is up against this motherfucker every day and i gotta go that way and i don't give a fuck who is in front of me they're not gonna stop me we turn tragedy into triumph that's what lions do lions don't cry lions don't give up lions don't quit lions hunt that's what we do for a living when you are a true hunter you don't go by time you go by the gazelle you hunt until you get a gazelle and you don't stop until you get one it's hard to handle it you got to fortify yourself and say come on with me. i've got to step into it just find an excuse to win keep going if you're gonna be successful in this game, you gotta have a dog within you. You gotta know it's a dog fight, and you gotta go get that fight. Life ain't gonna be easy. Ain't nobody gonna hand you nothing. You still gotta go to work. You still gotta compete against everybody in your industry. Life still gonna happen while you trying to blow up. I want to know what the f I'm made of. I want to know what I can overcome. And I know from experience that the harder the task to overcome, the more strength I'm going to gain from it. When you get to the point where enough is enough, when you get to the point where it hurt real bad, when you get to the point you can't take it no more, when you get to that point, doors start opening, opportunities start happening. But what you cannot do is you cannot quit doing the process. You cannot give up because it ain't what you see. You cannot give up. These are the days that test your fortitude. They test your endurance, your grit, your dedication, your determination, your mental toughness, your character. At the very moment when everything in you wants to do absolutely nothing. When you'd rather die than send another email or take another phone call or talk to another human. you got to get the job done. you got to tell life, I don't know who you've been dealing with, but you ain't dealt with me. you got to tell bankruptcy. you got to tell divorce. you got to tell sickness. I don't know who you've been dealing with. But you come up against the wrong one this time. You can be and do whatever you want, and nobody can stop you. Nobody can stop you but you. All of us, at some time or another, have agonized over making a decision. Some decisions are major decisions, and also there are a lot of small decisions that we don't make, that they tax our minds, they drain our energy, they create a lot of anxiety and nervousness and mental torment because we don't take care of it. We decide not to decide, which is a decision. Imagine you're on your deathbed and standing around your deathbed are the ghosts representing your unfulfilled potential. The ghost of the ideas you never acted on. The ghost of the talents you didn't use. And they're standing around your bed angry, disappointed, and upset. They say we came to you because you could have brought us to life, they say. And now we have to go to the grave together. So I ask you today, how many ghosts are going to be around your bed when your time comes? How much time do you spend working on you? How much time do you spend every day working on your dream? What kind of investment have you made in you? If your mentality is, I can't wait to see what happens great to me in 2022. You are going to get fucking sh as a result. Life does not reward people who wait to see what happens. What you put in, you will get out. So if you want 2022 to actually be different, you have to not only be willing to visualize and manifest, you have to be willing to grit it out. You have to be willing to push through discomfort. Nothing that you're about to try or do or achieve that is worthwhile is going to be comfortable for you during the process of creating it. And I want you to take the word hope and I want you to throw it on the motherfucking ground and I want you to replace it with the word I will f***ing do in 2022.
Woe be unto you if you go into another year and waste another year with the old mentality while somebody's in the hospital begging God for the opportunity that you have right now. You better step into this moment. You're only here for a short time. If you're not going to show people what's possible, who the f*** else is? Who's going to show your kids? Who's going to show your aunts and uncles? Who's going to show your f***ing nieces and nephews? Are you going to fail those people? Are you going to buy into the narrative that you can't? Stand up for your dreams. Stand up for what you want in your life. Decide that your life is so meaningful to you, that you love you and you love life so much that you're going to stand up for something you want. You don't want to be a spectator. You want to get out in the field where the action is and you will be amazed. After the struggle, there will be a calm period and things will begin to click for you. Come out here with what you got. You don't have enough money? Don't worry about it. You got the dream. You must be patient, persistent, and positive no matter what. But aren't there some guarantees you can give us? Yes, you're going to die. You can't get out of life alive. So I'm saying to you, you got six months to live. Live your life now. Live your dreams now. Start acting like this is your last day on the planet. There is nothing in your life that's worthwhile, that's quick and easy. Everything worthwhile is uphill. Does it come to you? You have to fight for it every day. You have to climb for it every day. Which sets up this problem for all of us. You're never going to feel like it. It's your job to make yourself do the crap you don't want to do so you can be everything that you're supposed to be. And you're so damn busy waiting to feel like it. And you're never going to. So I just need you to think about three people in your family that you love, three people. So what I need you to do for me is I need you to think about those people every day when you're doing what you're doing. Do you have some days where you just want to hit the snooze button? Raise your hand for me. You want to hit the snooze button. So watch this. This is what has to happen. That person that you think about has to be louder than the snooze button. So when you think about granny, you got to think about, right, do I hit the snooze button or do I get up and make it happen for granny? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Who are you doing this for? So the days you don't feel like getting up, just think about them. When you think about your siblings, when you think about mom and dad and grandma, when you think about your uncle and aunt, when you think about those people who've been there for you, just raise your hand if you say, E.T., sleep is better than that. When that alarm clock goes off at 4 or 5 in the morning, your mind says no. You just say, this is what we do now. My new norm is, you get up every fucking morning at 4 o'clock and you suffer. That became my new fucking life. Most people want to get out of it. I said, no, motherfucker, this is your new life. This is who you are. It's about executing regardless of your emotions. These test days, they test your fortitude. They test your endurance, your discipline, your grit, your dedication, your determination, your mental toughness at the very moment when everything in you wants to do absolutely nothing. You got to get the job done. Stop having dialogue with your emotions. Stop negotiating with your feelings and start to act. Your mind is a weapon and you got to be able to use it and pick that weapon up and control it. I want to know what the f I'm made of. I want to know what I can overcome. And I know that the harder the task, the harder the obstacle to overcome, the more strength I'm going to gain from it. It's an opportunity to prove that you're a winner. It's an opportunity to prove you are what you say you are in your head when you look in the mirror. When you look in the mirror and you say, there goes a bad motherfucker, you actually believe it. That's the importance of passing these tests. Successful people love the experience of not feeling like doing shit, but then going and kicking ass anyway. They understand that those are the real victories in life. They understand that it's easy to do sh when you feel like doing sh but they also understand that the real magic, the real glory is earned when your heart is not into something, but your mind tells you, f you, I'm gonna do this sh anyway, and does it. That's where people separate themselves from the pack. That's where people earn the right to success. They earn the money. They earn the life. They earn the relationship. They earn the body in those little moments where they don't want to do what they need to do, but move forward regardless of how they feel. 
That's what champions know, champions understand, and champions f***ing thrive on. And you don't get here by quitting when you're tired. You get here by quitting when you finish, when you're done. You don't stop when you're tired. You stop when you're done. You stop when you complete it, when you execute it. Execution is worship. 